Hey everybody, Prowl here and welcome to another Minecraft Bedrock Edition tutorial. In my hand here, you see I got a chest because today we are building a multi-item storage system and this is going to be super fun, I promise you guys. Um, I spent a lot of time designing this. Um, I first got inspired by Silent Whisperer's design. I made some changes to make things work the way that I like to. Um, but the overall guts of this is inspired by him. So make sure you check out Silent Whisperer's video. I will make sure to link it down in the description box below. And then uh, some little troubleshooting I had with some of the uh, redstone um, clock and, and a couple of other things down below. Mr. Saberdentures helped me out with, who is one of my head admins on my um, Discord and community servers. So uh, definitely check out Saberdentures' channel as well. I'll make sure to link him in the description box too. Um, he deserves a lot of credit because there's a couple. This this system took me several days to completely design and get all the kinks worked out, and he was with me for a lot of those days. So again, thank you very much to Saber. And for those that do not know, what a multi-item storage system is, is a system that you dump items into your input chests. Um, these are input chests that I laid out this way. You could do it many different ways, including just having one if you want, but I went fancy and had a lot. Um, you put whatever items you have in your inventory in your, in your chest here, and it gets sorted through the system. Uh, what you need to do is you go through and you fill every single chest up with all the items that you want to sort into. So like here, I did planks. So we got all of our planks there. Here I did trap doors. So we got all of our trap doors here. You can organize things however you want to. You see I got multiple rows of different things in here. You can just have one item in the chest as a placeholder, or you can have a whole bunch of them. That part is totally up to you. Organize it whatever way you want to. And basically the way that it works is as items go through the system and fill in, um, it will go and fill into the slot available. And if there's not a slot available, then it'll skip and check the next chest, the next chest, the next chest, and eventually it'll find its way to whatever slot is open. And if for some reason it doesn't, say your chest is full, say it's a non-stackable item, or say that you do not have a spot for it, it'll go over to your overflow slash junk area, which I have set up over here. It's got some overflow of different items and some non-stackable items and such as well. Um, the system is quite easy. You don't really need to do much. You go in and here, just for demonstration's sake, we'll go ahead and stow in a couple of small uh, bits of items right there. And then the system will come on just like this. You see everything is now turned on. The items are going up. And if I go and check right over here, um, you will see the items start to flow into the chest here in just a moment. There they go. And then they will go into that one. Those diamond blocks that I put in here will come into this one. And then those couple of elytra I threw in will show up right there. Okay, and as you can see, everything is slowed through the system. Blocks of diamonds are there. The elytra made it through here. And yeah, this system will definitely make your life a lot easier. Um, I've actually already recorded this video once, but I didn't like how everything turned out in the order in which I did things. So instead, what I'm going to do is we're going to go ahead and go through things again. And I'll make sure I keep everything nice and organized and easy for you guys to follow. All right, so first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is uh, build yourself a little 11 by 11 platform. This is where all of your redstone's gonna go or dig yourself out 11 by 11 platform, whichever way you're gonna do it. Um, preferably without the sheep would probably be nice. And uh, I just graded this out for you guys. That way you can kind of see where everything is going as I place it. And then we're gonna start out by throwing in our chests first. I like to start with the chest because it gives me a better point of reference of where everything else is gonna go. Um, so you're going to come over one, two, three, four spaces. You're going to go up one, two, three, four spaces, just like that. And your first and second chests are going to go here and here. And then we are going to come over two more spaces. And then your next chests are going to go there and there. Now, you can make these, this height whatever you would like. Um, I personally am going to be bringing it up seven chest high. So one, two, three, four five six and seven um seven is usually the max that you want to do if you do more than seven you're not going to be able to reach the top easily if you're standing all the way down on the ground um, maybe if you get like at the perfect angle you can reach it but uh, i would do the seven and then you're also going to throw hoppers into the back of all your chests that you do um, i'm going to give you a little warning make sure that you are facing them into the back don't accidentally click and face one down because that's going to turn that off uh, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, just fill in all these chests right now. Okay, so once you have all those in, and I went ahead and just threw in a little floor area just to give myself something to work off of here as well. Um, you're going to want to go ahead and throw in one more set of hoppers below just like this. And also uh, give yourself a uh, 
set of locks to work off of in this direction as well. Um, that way you can face two hoppers going this way, which will eventually be our chest outputs. But for now, uh, we're just going to go ahead and throw those in just like that. Because that's going to be our point of reference for placing all of our blocks that our redstone components are going to go into. So um, you're going to skip one hopper and go one above that. So you have a gap right there. And then every other one fill in just like this. And then also you're going to want to come all the way up the side and then knock out everywhere that you already have blocks beside it just like this. So you should have it kind of notched out like that. And then we're going to do the same thing on this side and then repeat the same thing in the next area beside us. All right, and once you get that part in, uh, just go ahead and since you're up here for now, go ahead and throw in a couple of chests just like that and a couple of chests just like that. And then you can also throw in a hopper facing into each one of those just like that. Looks like I missed a block right there. Um, next, you're going to want to throw in a bunch of repeaters. So every space where you have a spot to put, to put something, you're going to put repeaters there. And every single one of these repeaters has to be on two ticks. I'm going to say this to you guys multiple times as we go through and do this. All of the repeater timings I use, you need to use. So set all of these repeaters to two ticks and fill in every location. Okay, now once you have that, you see I also threw in the repeaters right here, or yeah, on top of the hoppers, I got the repeaters. Make sure you don't forget those. And next thing what you're going to do is go ahead and build all of these, except for that bottom one, out one additional block. So um, just go ahead and fill in just like I'm doing now. And then after you fill this part in, uh, we're going to need to get some redstone torches because we're going to fill in every single one of these spaces with torches as well. And I'll show you how here. So we got our torches and our torches are going to power all of these repeaters. So you see, I'm going to put a bunch on this side right here, and then I'm going to go up just like this, whoops, right here, up this side, and I'm going to keep working my way through. Okay. Now one more thing you need to do, I actually forgot to do this earlier in the video. Um, so I, I'm, I'm actually, I've already finished recording the video and I noticed that I did forget to throw in these blocks here. So I'm going to insert this in the part of the video where this actually needs to go. So for you guys right now, what you need to do is you need to take a set of blocks and you need to run it all the way up and do that everywhere where you got the repeaters. You'll see I already did that everywhere else. That way those repeaters are powering the block and locking the hoppers. Otherwise the system's not going to work. Also on your redstone torches that are up at the very top, powering those last repeaters, you want to throw a block on top of that. That's actually going to make sure it sets these hoppers up here at the correct timing as well. So everything flows through the system at the right time. We don't want items to bunch up when they're not supposed to and uh, flow into the system faster than they would, what they're supposed to flow in. So just make sure, again, you go in and do that. Put all of your uh, blocks in there and there. And then uh, let's move on to the next portion. And then once you finish all that up, go ahead and throw a torch there, 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 and there. And then you should see this orientation right now where the inside area by all the chests is all turned off. And then the outside area away from the chest and the gaps is all turned on. And then also I'm going to go ahead and we're going to throw in our input chest right here because we're going to be using that in just a little bit. And then uh, although we're not going to run the whole thing quite yet, uh, what we're going to do is uh, go ahead and just kind of pull that redstone or these... Uh, hoppers out a little bit. You want to come out two like that and then we're going to come over and knock that one out. Come over in this direction like this. So yep, you should look just like that with your hoppers coming out of there. And we take a break from your regularly scheduled programming to let you know to please click that subscribe button. Yes, the subscribe button costs you nothing. It is a very generous thing to do for me. And make sure you also click the like button, drop some comments, and consider visiting all my social media links. That way you can keep up with everything that is going on with me. Oh, and have some pork chops. All right, and the next thing we're going to work on is laying out all the redstone on the floor down here while we still got plenty of space to work. And you guys can see it all easy. Um, so what I'm going to want you to do 
you see we're facing the front of our uh, system here. You're going to want to go on the edge here, one, two, three, and four, put a block here, put a block here and here, and then put a block right here just like that. Go ahead and put yourself a redstone torch there and a couple of pieces of redstone just like this. Uh, throw in two repeaters, one here and one here. Leave that one on uh, one tick. Go ahead and put this one on three ticks just like that. And then go ahead and face another one right here. You can leave that one on one tick. And then you can put a torch right here just like that. Um, this is going to end up making our clock that we're going to be using. And then also, um, separate from this clock, but it's going to be important as we tie everything up here in just a little bit, I'm going to want to go ahead and throw a... Uh, a repeater right there go ahead and throw a block right here throw a block right here as well and then bring this over one and go up and go over just like this right here and then what you want to do is go ahead and throw in a torch right there and then throw in a redstone dust here here and here just like that and actually I'm sorry that last one's not a dust that last one's a repeater it can stay on the standard um, one tick this guy that's in here go ahead and throw that one on four just like at four ticks and then oh, you want to throw in a few extra blocks that are going to go actually right under these guys right here so we're going to throw in one here here and here and we're going to put redstone torch there there and there as you can see that is actually switched so the inside ones the chest side ones are all on and the other ones are all off which is what we wanted take a repeater throw a repeater into um oops hold on Sorry, a block here and here. Then the repeater goes into this block here and this block here. Just the standard one tick on that is fine. Take some redstone dust and pull that out just like that so it connects into both your repeaters. Come back over to this side now where you have these torches you place down. Redstone there, redstone there. You see it turned those off and it switched our uh, polarity again. So this is going to be all of your redstone for your clock and what is going to be controlling the uh, tower of hoppers right there. Uh, next, we're going to go ahead and put in the pulse extender. Okay, for the pulse extender portion of this, you're going to come over to where your torches are. You're going to skip this first row and then put redstone, redstone, break out your comparators, go comparators one, two, three, skip a space, one, two, three, skip a space, and then one. And now you're going to want to come back the other way. Go one, one, two, three, and one, two, three, just like that. Fill in this gap with redstone right there. Fill in this gap with redstone right there. Um, right here, go ahead and throw yourself a block. And right here, throw yourself a piece of redstone and throw yourself another piece right there, This just like that. That's going to tie this uh, comparator uh, pulse extender into the clock right here so whenever this clock is running um or whenever this i'm sorry whenever the um, pulse extender gets power it's going to actually uh, allow our clock to run because it's going to turn that right there off and allow the clock to do its little thing where it repeats itself um, and that's going to be everything for all of the redstone down bottom for now we'll have a little bit more here in just a little bit but that's all of the complex parts right there Next, we are going to throw in our item elevators, and they are going to. Uh, we're going to start right up beside where these comparators are, the pulse extender that we put in, and in line with our first set of chests. Okay, so we're on. What if you're facing the front? What would be the left side? If you're facing the back, would be the right side. And what you're going to want to do is go ahead and throw in one, two, and then on top of that second one, throw in a dropper facing up, just like that. And then you're going to want to build a little platform just like this coming out the back of that dropper. And then go ahead and knock this block out, throw in an observer just like that. And then throw a comparator on top of that observer, put a block right here and right here, put a piece of redstone dust right here and right here, throw in a repeater with your standard one tick right there. And then you can knock that block out a block below it and put a repeater right here this is a um, system for a item elevator you'll see that if i throw an item in oops throw an item in it spits an item out that is perfect and we're actually going to be able to stack these side by side because we're going to put another one right here but it is going to sit differently it's actually going to sit one lower than that one so go ahead and do this right here so you're one block lower 
build yourself that same platform just like this and we're going to repeat all the steps exactly the same so we're going to face that that way we're going to put our comparator here we're going to put our blocks there and there we're going to put our dust there and there we're going to put our repeater right here and then we're going to knock this one out and put our repeater right there and that has made a another one just right there Whoop, popped it right out of there didn't it and we're going to go ahead and just repeat that in these two spots right here the exact same as we did there All right, now that all four of those are done, you should have something that looks just like this. Again, where it kind of does that up and down motion so they can stack properly. And then next, we're actually gonna mess with putting in all of our hoppers that are gonna run into all of these droppers now. Um, so actually, what I'm gonna have you guys do, um, you, earlier you came over and you went into this right here. Um, we're actually going to go down and over this way. So here, the way I'm gonna do this is we're actually gonna start from this side. We're gonna come over from this. We're gonna bring it all the way over to the edge of our um, redstone area um, straight across like this right here and then from there you can go there and there perfect so you should have everything in just like this and then uh, one other thing that we're going to do we're going to throw in a block right here no not a block right there i am so sorry uh, we're going to throw in, can I get it without breaking anything? Yes, perfect. So we're going to place an observer facing upwards like that, right there in that little like bend. And then we're going to bring a comparator signal out from there. That way we can see every time a item goes into that hopper, because that's what's going to trigger our system to start, is whenever we put items in this chest, and it detects an item flows into that hopper. And it also right below where that observer is facing downwards now put a piece of redstone dust right there because that's actually going to trigger that piece of redstone or that i'm sorry that redstone repeater and that is going to send a signal to this and then again initiate this whole clock process right there just like that and next we need to go ahead and throw in all of our other um you call it <laughs> hoppers so we're going to want to come in from the side every single time so we're going to go in from the side and then we're going to go up and we're going to kind of curve this thing in and around just like that again we're going to go from this one we're going to start over 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 bend it in just like this same thing again we're gonna come over where you go up to bring it up to the next level over 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 oops i went to the wrong one there we go right here bam just like that so now you should have all of those tied in to every single one of your droppers uh, we have done it this way to make sure that we have room to further expand later and as well it, it's just a nice neat easy way of doing it and it'll help us with placing our um, our water elevator like shoots right here, which we're about to do in just a moment. Um, also, do not worry about the fact that some of these are powered. Um, that's it's kind of part of the design. What it does is it makes sure that everything, regardless of how quickly it comes out of the droppers here, and sometimes items get collected as they go up and down and all sorts of kind of stuff like that. Um, it'll make sure that everything stays spaced out the exact uh, way that our clock is set up so it will make sure everything gets sped up at the proper rate um, after a lot of testing this is where saber nature's helped me out quite a bit um, when we were getting all that in is i was kind of testing a lot of the timings and he would check them while i was changing them and this is as fast as you'll go if you go any faster than this clock right here where we have the one two three four ticks that are coming through this clock right here i'm sorry one two three four five ticks that are going through this clock right here the items are able to skip the hoppers this is as fast as the hoppers can go with the um, multi-item sorter system um, and then what you guys can do next um, i'll go ahead and i don't need to do all of this um, on camera with you but we'll do one i'm gonna grab a piece of glass as we just need to enclose these up now and we're going to actually bring those all the way up right there at the hopper level and then these sides 
going to build up one higher, of course. That way our water doesn't flow out. We're not going to put the water in quite yet, but we're going to be doing that pretty soon. Um, and then right here, you can go ahead and throw in one more hopper there. And then, oops, I need to come up one higher, apparently, just like this. There. So this way our water can come in, flow in, and drop our items into the hopper right there. And then let's build the other one because this one's slightly different. So we're going to put our glass here. Uh, don't worry about the fact that this is hoppers here. It won't mess up anything. The items flow up just fine. They don't recirculate into the system or anything like that. Go up. This one's actually going to go one lower. Oops. And then to get in this guy right here, what we're going to do is we're going to actually come straight back just like this under all of the glass and go just like that. So you see how that one's curved in and going over. And then we'll just, we'll just block that in right there. And then um, if you want to throw your water in, you can now because you shouldn't be at a point where you're going to need to break anything and possibly spill water all over your redstone. Um, so I'm just going to go in, make sure you get water sources in every spot because if you don't, your items are going to get stuck. See there, we got a flow right there just like that. And then we'll do the same thing. See, I missed that one at the bottom. Make sure you do not miss any right there just like that. And if you want to, just to keep stuff from possibly falling in somehow, just go ahead and top those off and repeat this process for those two as well. All right, and then once you get all of those filled in, we actually now have to tie in these uh, item elevators into this uh, pulse extender. That way, anytime any of them is shooting out an item, it keeps this pulse extender turned on. So that way the system keeps running because we, we want the system to continue to run as long as we have items going through. And we actually need to knock out that block right there and that block right there because um, those aren't serving any purpose and they're actually in our way. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to throw in a piece of redstone here, here, and here. We do the same thing there, there, and there, just like that. That's actually tying it into this pulse extender right here. I'm sorry, this uh, dropper elevator right here and this one right here at the same time because it's getting power from the circuitry right there that you see and this block getting powered is actually powering that too. So just go ahead and throw that in, throw that in. You're gonna need to sneak over to the other side here um, and probably be easiest if you give yourself a little block to drop down into. So you need to put a repeater right here and go ahead and put that on one, two, three, four ticks. Do the same thing on this side. One, two, three, four ticks. Put those guys on four ticks and that will um, bother me. There we go. <laughs> um, and then that will tie all of those into the system right here. Um, a little bit later, I'll show you how to tie in extra ones going across and to tie in your system where um, all of your extra slash junk items slash non-stackable items will go. But we are 100% done with redstone now. Um, so what we can actually do next is we can grab whatever decorative block you like. I like to use dark oak because dark oak is the best wood in the game by far. And what we're going to do is we're just going to build ourselves some pillars going up just like this because this is where all of our signs are going to go. Um, this is one of the reasons I designed this system this way. So I don't like it when chests go side by side or uh, go every other because then it's kind of hard to see or to know or remember exactly where all your stuff goes. At least for me it is. So with this method right here, we just put in our, whoops, our uh, item frames going up just like this. And it's pretty easy to tell which goes with which. Now, just so you guys know, before we jump into the next parts here, this system is expandable. You can make this as many, like large of an, as much or big of an area as you would like, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Um, so right here, we just have two modules. Um, you could send this out uh, three modules, six, eight, 12, whatever you need in your world. Um, obviously, with it being a multi-item sorter, you don't need it to be too enormous in most cases, um, but um, it is expandable to be as large as you want. And like I said, I'll show you guys how to do that here in just a moment. Okay, so this next part, I'm gonna show you on one of the builds I've already actually finished, which is gonna be this one right here. Um, it's gonna be the same thing though. So what I did on this side is I threw in some uh, chest for our um, unstackable items, our overflow items, and our items that do not have a home. And basically what you're going to do is you're going to pull off of the final, however many sections you've done, whatever your last row of chests is, you're going to pull that over. 
and then you're going to want to line that up with the where the hoppers are going to go into the back of your um, chest here so you guys can see how the hoppers are oriented it's actually pretty simple you just face them all into the back and then have one row going off to the side facing in the direction away from where your water stream is coming in and across the hoppers that are there um, line up your hopper line here facing in that direction um, throw in anywhere that's convenient for you really it doesn't really matter like which way you uh, I guess it faces like side the side or that side um, but bring it in at least enough to where the water stream can make it over to your hoppers build the exact same um, item elevator that we've used over there nothing's different at all build it up have the water stream flow into the first hopper right here and there you go and that'll take everything that does not find its way into one of those chests and drop it into one of these chests now last but not least we need to go through and discuss how to add on additional modules to this okay so i've added in the chests this part so everything i've done so far is exactly the same as everything you've done down there so far you add in however many rows of chests you want in this case i added in one more like slice of chests here uh, i threw in the redstone the exact same way down there i got all my repeater timings set down to two just like i did over there i forgot these uh that one torch double check your torches because i did not oops i forgot to put these ones on top of here too so make sure you go through and you put torches on top of all of these i'll probably throw in a reminder earlier in the video to make sure that nobody forgets that because that is important because it does help you lock your hoppers up here to better time everything um, now once you got everything all in place you're going to come back down to the bottom we don't need to build any of this again we don't need to do anything else with this we don't need to do anything else with that we're just kind of attaching everything at this point so what we're going to do is we're going to throw in a block below this a block below this and then throw in a torch and a torch just like we did over there uh, we are going to throw in a block right here don't need one there because that one's already powered and then we're going to pull our redstone down just like this throw in a repeater just like that and throw in our redstone across there just like that so see now those are turned off just like all the other ones that's hooked into the system just like everything else is last but not least we just need to do the same thing right here so this one is going to tie in right there and then we'll throw in the repeater if we can see i have to dig myself down a block throw in the repeater right there put it on four ticks and now that is tied in as well and if we were to do another one down here like another system basically we would just do this exact same thing and then since the um the pulse extender isn't all the way down there we would just chain over to it and then the repeater at the four ticks would come in like that at whatever area it is basically you're just going to tie it in just like that and then eventually at some point you're going to get this if you make this big enough you're going to get it out far enough to where the redstone signal is not going to reach that far so just remember anywhere you need to throw in a repeater and leave it at one tick to send a signal out further this way do everything else exactly the same here everything else exactly the same here but again this signal is going to come out far enough if you build this big enough to where it doesn't reach anymore so just throw in a repeater um, you can leave it at the one tick and then you can extend your storage system out as far as you need and everything will work just like it does when it's in the smaller version like it is right now oh and one last thing that you guys can do um, if you want to throw in some indicator lights I, I i find this kind of fun it'll just basically let you know anytime there are items going through the system uh, what you could do is you grab yourself some redstone lamps and then um, some observers and all you're going to need to do let's say we want to throw some in i don't know right here uh, what we're going to do is we're going to throw in redstone redstone we're going to throw in observer observer and we're going to throw in um we need to make this go we need to make this go one higher we're gonna throw in block block we're gonna throw in redstone redstone then we're gonna throw in observer observer and lamp lamp and what we should see happen is if i throw anything in here as long as this system is running 
that light will blink, letting you know that you do still have items running through the system. And then it will stop blinking whenever all of the redstone down there stops running and the clock stops running. Um, anyways, that will take care of everything on our end. You guys will have to go through, fill in all your chests, put in whatever you want to in the item frames, and decorate your system in whatever way you think you want to. Um, in any event, this has been super duper fun. I really hope everybody enjoys this storage system. I am in love with it. I cannot wait to build it in a survival world as soon as possible myself, actually. And if you have any questions, comments, need anything from me, either let me know down in the comments below. Or an even better way to get in touch with me is to follow me on the Twitter or on my Discord server. Make sure you check out those links down in the description box below. Thank you guys so very much, and I hope you have a great night. Goodbye.